So people have been asking me lately how to get cinematic looking footage or just how to take better videos in general. And I think there, there's a few key things to that, but, but most people come to me and they'll say like, oh, I, you have this huge camera and your footage looks really good, but it's, re it's really not about the camera, it's more about the settings. You can get really nice looking videos from even stuff like as simple as this GoPro here. It's all, it all comes down to settings and how you use the camera and how you move the camera. But today we're gonna talk about cinematic settings in GoPro cameras and how to get nice looking motion that kind of looks like that movie quality cinematic feel. We're gonna look at how to set your Pro Tune in your GoPro to get cinematic results out of it. Um, but it, it all goes down to the fundamentals of, of your frame rate needs to be half of your shutter speed. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, in order to get cinematic motion blur throughout that, you're gonna have to set your camera to either 148th or 150th shutter speed. And so it, essentially the, the general rule is to always double uh, your shutter speed from what your frame rate is. So if you're shooting on 60 FPS, then you're gonna shoot, uh, or you're gonna set your shutter speed to one over 120. And then a, like also, if you're shooting at 120 frames per second, you're gonna set your shutter speed at one over 240. And so this is gonna allow you, higher shutter speeds uh, are gonna allow you to slow down the footage in post. So keep that general rule, I'm gonna say this like a thousand times. Double your shutter speed to what your frame rate is at, in a general sense. If you're at 24 frames per second, it doesn't have to be 148th, because a lot of cameras don't go to that setting. You can be at 150th, and, that, and that's still fine. That's close enough, and you're gonna get that nice cinematic motion blur. Um, but let's talk about playback speed. If you wanna play back your video at 100%, meaning you don't wanna slow it down in post, because sometimes slowing down footage also makes it look cinematic. That's why I like shooting in 60 frames per second a lot. So 24 frames per second at 150th shutter speed is gonna be played back at 100% speed in post and whenever you're, whenever you're making that video. If you, if you shoot in 60 frames per second and then your shutter speed is at 120 or one over 120, then that video is gonna be played back at 40%. And then accordingly, if you're shooting at 120 frames per second, which which the GoPro Hero 4 and 5 both do, which is which is pretty crazy coming from like this tiny little camera. You can get some great stuff with that. So if you're shooting at 120 frames per second, uh, then your shutter speed is gonna be one over 240. So that means you're gonna play it back in your editor or slow it down to 20%, and then that will make sure that your footage isn't lagging whenever, whenever you play it back. I'll try and show, I'm gonna try and show you an example of, of uh, laggy footage and what it looks like whenever it's not right. Because if you don't follow that, that rule of doubling your shutter speed from your frame rate, then everything looks out of whack. It, it's, like, it's really like a technical um, thing to get down, but once you get it, it, it becomes second nature. So now that we have that, that general frame rate and shutter speed rule out of the way, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite GoPro settings for getting cinematic footage uh, like this. Okay, so back to the best settings to put in ProTune on your GoPro to get cinematic results. My personal favorite is a flat color profile. This means that you're not gonna get that saturated GoPro color and then you're, it's gonna give you more flexibility in post to use LUTs or to color grade the footage yourself. White balance, if you're not sure, put it in auto because honestly the GoPro is really, really good at uh, auto white balancing. I would never say that about almost any other camera, but GoPros are abnormally kind of good at white balancing. But if, and that's actually what I use. I use auto white balance whenever I scuba dive because it, everything changes so much and there's different, um, there's different colors that go away in certain depths of water. So I just, I, I just say whatever and use auto. But tech, like the, the general rule is if you're outdoors during the day, use 5500K to 5600 Kelvin. Or if you're indoors, depending on the light, if there's warmish kind of orangey 
sodium vapor looking lights inside, then it's gonna be 3200K. Or if you're not really sure, so if, they're, if they're really bright white lights indoors and then some orange, then put it at like 4300K. Um, but if you're not really sure, if you're not like dead set indoors, super orangey looking lights, and that's gonna be 3200K, or if you're outside in the middle of the day, that's 5500K, I would honestly just say to put it on auto. Um, next, ISO, especially on the GoPro Hero 5, because in my opinion, it's not as good as the Hero 4 at um, low light, don't exceed 1000, because the sensor on this camera is really, really small. It's, it does amazing things, but the sensor is limited, and so, you can't really get up those high ISO numbers like other cameras like the A7S that I'm shooting this video on. Um, so yeah, I would I would really try and stay to like 400 to 800 uh, on your ISO if possible. My favorite re resolution to shoot on for GoPros is 2.7K. I would love to shoot everything in 4K, but I like to slow down my footage and use time remapping a lot. And the most you can get on a GoPro these days is uh, 4K at 30 frames per second, so that, that doesn't allow me to slow down my footage enough, or, or as much as I want. So I shoot on 2.7K and then frame rate 60 frames per second, and, and so I always set my shutter speed to 1 over 1 120th second. And then you go into sharpness, you always, if you, if you really don't do crazy color correction in post, Set your sharpness on high because that's gonna make it look the best out of the camera. But I like to uh, mess with my footage a lot and post, so put it on low to medium because then you can get, you can dial in your sharpness uh, a nice amount. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Once again, Zach Santagetti here, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and watch out for the iPhone cinematic footage video coming out next week. Uh, and yeah, you don't need big cameras to get cinematic footage. Check out this guy, check out my footage on Instagram too. Uh, a lot of my stuff there is shot on GoPros and iPhones, uh, oddly enough. So yeah, follow me on Instagram and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Check you next time.